and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carlin Gaming Pokemon Legends Arceus Nuzlocke Challenge. Where in today's episode, I think we've got like a bunch of like, I don't know, side quests. Like, they're not optional, you have to do them, but they feel like filler between us and the end of the game. Uh, I think we have to go hunt down a couple of clan leaders. We have to go fight some lake spirits or something or other, whatever. Uh, anyway, we're going to head way over there to 885 zone, right? Um, as you can see, let's take a quick look at the team, though. Boom. We've got Luisa, Riterra, Arnold, Mercury, Gigi, and I decided to put Storm on the team for the time being. Largely because of the ground type attack. So part of what we're gonna have to do today is fight the three like lake challenges and the Pokemon waiting inside are the like fully evolved forms of the Hisuian type Pokemon um, or the regional Pokemon that are like, uh, you know, strong. So like for example, one of them is Hisuian Gudra. Hisuian Gudra is dragon steel type. So it has very few weaknesses. I think it's just uh, ground and fighting. And as it were, we really don't have that many options, but Storm has at least two ground type attacks. This is where it would be so nice to still have nice, but we don't. Um, so we're gonna put Storm on here. Hopefully we've got a few levels on our way to the, um, to the lakes. And I'm sure we're gonna to sit through a thousand cutscenes. but anyway, let's fly. Da -da -da -da. We're flying, we're flying. Aspiration Hill, actually while we're here, um, let's go back here. Is there anywhere we haven't caught anything? Nature's Pantry? Have we not caught anything there? Windswept Run? Raminous Island? Maybe we should go to Raminous Island. Just give it a... Oh, what is this? Mass Outbreak? Hold on. We're going there right now. Boom. Mark it on the map. Let's go. Paris Outbreak? You know what's great about Outbreaks in this game? The tremendous opportunity to catch a shiny! Can you even imagine if we caught a shiny Parasect? We'd basically be the most unstoppable creature that had ever lived. Oh my gosh, the opportunity is here. The opportunity! Get up, get up! Go, run. We need to go faster. We need to get there as fast as possible. Fly, Braviary! Go, 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 go! Run, weird ear. Run, weird ear. We must find the Parises. We must find the Parises. Okay. Where are the. Oh, there they are. They're so glorious. Such glory. Can we get ourselves a shiny one to appear, though? That's the question. Don't want to fight that one. Oh boy. We should have gotten in the grass first, because now I think they all want to fight. Oh, this one wants to fight. Okay, it's going down, it's going down. We're, gonna, we're trying to find a shiny one, man. Oh no, there's three of them that want to fight. Okay, well, they're all going down. We're just gonna destroy them all. They want to fight? No big deal. Fight them all. Bring it on, other parasai. That's how you want to be it. Look, I'm just sitting here. I'm your friend. I am the champion of the Parises, okay? No reason to fight. We're just trying to find a hyper rare shiny version of you, okay? That's what we want. That's what we want. Hurt by poisoning. That is so much poison damage! That is nonsense. Look how much damage poison does. It's so, that's way more than usual, right? I did like 50 points of damage. Okay, anyway, we're just gonna stay in the grass this time. Yeah, get down here, get down here. Whoop, whoop. This is also just good for our catching, right? Throw that far? Maybe not. Mm. 
And we gotta fight this one again. We got so many Parises though. How exciting. What joy. What wonder. This one can die. We hate it. Thinks it can fight us? I don't think so. We're here. Oh, the report of Pokemon seems to be gone. Bummer. All right, all right. Well, the good news is we still got a lot of uh, catches towards our um, <laughs> whatever lab report or you know whatever whatever we had to get. Um, and we are also in the right zone, in the right zone to catch or to go meet up with whoever we're looking for, who I think is just that like the the Cleaver guy, right? That's who we're looking for, Cleaver man. Are we gonna have to fight you or are we just gonna talk to you? Hey, what's up, dude? What's happening, bro? That's Cowboy Man. Now, what in the world did you do? Look at the size of that rift. If lightning starts pouring from it, all the Pokemon in his stupid could be thrown into a frenzy. The entire clan's in a panic now. Well, I should have known the only thing that could come from that rift was disaster. I need help. Hmm. Help? Ah, oh, well, it's not exactly something I can do. Not something you can do. Excuse me, man. I just I realized my phone has been sitting on the desk the whole time. I'm not even getting encountered for these steps I'm taking. If you didn't know, we're in the middle of our November step competition here on um, here at SCB, part of the Discord server, which you can join at uh, patreoncom Gaming or Supercolor Brothers or Popcorn Culture, whatever, whichever one you want, you know. But uh, man. Step competition, always so much fun. It's part of why I'm walking right now, but man, it's so frustrating when you realize you've been walking without the phone. It's like, ah, obviously your body still counts the steps, but the, the pedometer did not. So if anyone's not part of it and they want to be part of it, you know, it's not too late to join. It's for the whole month of November. I would recommend joining Team Snake. That's my team, you know, you know, just, you know, come on down, come on down. It's gonna be great. Uh, anyway, back to the game. No, well, it's not exactly something I could do. It's not what I would have. Wouldn't like to help you, but wouldn't put here in a difficult position. I truly do wish I could repay you for quelling Cleaver's frenzy as you did. You must know that, but there's nothing I alone could do for you. Hmm. One mom might be able to help you, though. She's a caring woman, after all. Ho <laughs> ho ho! Something between Leon and Mai? <laughs> I think so. You'll most likely find Mai at the top of Warm Bridge. I believe it's a very significant place for her. All right, I'm certain that somewhere in the vastness of Hasui, there's a place for you as well. Mm hmm. Thank you. There's a single one place for me. All right, let's see. Can we get up this? Woo, and we're flying. All right, cool, 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 cool. Boy, it's too bad we didn't catch the shiny Paris though, eh? That would have been so exciting. I can't even express to you how great it might have been. Look, there's another little spear tomb glowy bop thing over there. Not going for those. Are we headed anywhere we haven't been yet? Um. I think we did, no, no, we're, we got all this stuff. We got all this stuff. Obsidian Falls, I don't think I'm marked out on the map, but I feel pretty sure we caught something over here. Magikarp, Mayhaps, there we go. Way over there. Me oh my, we are flying! Wow, we ran right into her. My my, what a frightful sky! <laughs> You mean me? Me with the eagle? <laughs> Such a disturbing sight would be, <laughs> would be enough to put anyone ill at ease. You don't know what I brought this about, do you? Trying to find out. Uh, uh, I suppose it was too much to expect that you could already have an answer to all this. She has very fun like leggings. I heard from our leader what happened. You can't return to that village of yours, can you? Mm -mm. But I'm afraid the Diamond Clan cannot be the ones to save you. Wow. The Diamond Clan could end up at war with the Galaxy team if things went badly. I think we would regret that as much as anyone. The Great Weird here took a liking to you. I want to offer you my support, but forgive me. I cannot help you in this. Well, great. Do not abandon hope. Time solves all things. And besides, you seem to have a talent for making your own way in the world. I have no doubt you'll continue to find a path to walk. Alright, well, you guys have been tremendously helpful. No one here willing to repay any of the debt they owe me. I mean, my goodness. Here we go. Oh, let's just go have a, a quick glance at the water, shall we? Hmm. Hmm. Ah, yes. Contemplate. What's that? Well, well, well. Oh, a little shakes. A little shakes, like Miles. Not Miles. Mercury. Oh, wow. Wow. Freudian slip. He likes my mask, I think. Oh, and Luxio. Wow, wow, wow. 
All right, should I follow them? Hmm, yes. They know who the leader is. They want to see Big Merc, I think. You have to go back up that hill? Oh, no, it's you. Oh, it's Volo. Oh, great, this guy. Strange events seem to follow you wherever you go, don't they? Oh, hi. Yeah, what's up, dude? I found you at last, Jay. I don't know how, you don't have a giant bird to fly around with. I've been looking all over for you, you know. What would I do if I were to lose one of my favorite customers? <laughs> don't worry, I've already heard what happened. Oh, did you? Did you look up and see the sky, Volo? A good merchant knows why, uh, blah, 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 blah. It seems you're in quite the pinch. No place for you amongst the Diamond Clan or the Pearl Clan. To say nothing of how poorly the Galaxy team has treated you. Mm, but not to worry. There are still corners of the Hisui region where we can stash you away in secret. Da -da -da -da. I know a spot that will be the perfect hideaway. Leave it all up to me! Great. Now we're... Now we're gonna be indebted to this dude. Oh, man. <laughs> Excuse me. Wow. Wow. Look at your single tent. I know, I know, it's no palace, but you know the saying about beggars and choosers. That people who saved all of Hisui are allowed to beg and choose for exactly what they want. That one. Shirking your work to come pester me again? Even beneath a bleeding sky, you never change. That was a pleasure, Mistress Gogeta. But I'm afraid I'm not here today, Lerma. Okay, okay. Yeah, this now they're gonna send us on. Just Kojita, and this is YJ, the woman of the hour. She's the one who quelled the frenzy of the- Oh, look at it, he's like, he's even calling us a woman instead of a girl. <laughs> wow, wow, how flattering. How flattering. Dear me, lost one, it seems I'll be able to fulfill my duty at long last, thanks to you. Duty? <laughs> she said duty. Indeed, I am to guide you, lost one, for the task of preventing great disaster falls to you. Blah, 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 blah. All right, just tell me what to do. But come, you man to my dear hideaway, there's much to be told. Look at these people just out here in the camping with the fancy clothing. I, you know, I gotta respect that. She's like, hey, I gotta live in a tent. I'm gonna be fancy about it though. The space time rift is said to be a portal to innumerable other dimensions. In one such realm, far and farther still from ours, dwells almighty Sinnoh. The Pearl Clans? <clears throat> the expanse from antiquity to eternity, and the expanse to all sides above and below. Time traces the path we tread from here and now into the future, while space yawns all-encompassingly surrounding us in every direction. You see, don't you? The two together, time and space, compromise all creation, the universe. How can one claim that either is greater than the other, as those two clans do? You really can't. Nope, I've been saying it all along. Perhaps the truth is clearer to a wanderer such as you, one who has known other ages. Now listen, lost one, here is what you must do. Hisui holds three lakes of great importance, verity, valor, and acuity. At each dwells a Pokemon said to embody one aspect of the mind. Complete the trials, each will set you and bear their gifts to the shrouded ruins. There you may receive the red chain. With it, perhaps you can bind the world together. Wow. Bind the world? You <laughs> mean close the rift? Spare me a doubt, young man. Mm-hmm, okay. All right, I know this is such an exciting episode thus far, right? Of course I'll do it, jeez. I got more world saving to do, people. There's a nobility, mm-hmm. Seeing what must be done and doing it. Ah, my arse phone. You can see the locations of the three lakes marked on your arse phone. Great, excellent. Mistress Gogeta is a lovely workbench here, and if you need materials, I'll be glad to help you. Yep, okay, great. What about the pastures? Oh, that is a problem, isn't it? We shall keep that in mind. Ta-da! What was that? I think it was the Abra. The Abra is the one who can get you your other Pokemon if you need. Let's see. Is there a workbench in here? Hmm. No. Here you are here. Lovely. Is there going to be someone out here waiting to talk to us? Probably. Yep. As usual. Hello, hello, it's an Abra. Where did you tell about it from, little fellow? I wonder who. Is it Silene's Abra? <laughs> and it's got a letter. A letter just to you, Jay. Mm -hmm. Take a closer look. You may use my Pokemon as a go-between to access the pastures in Jubilee Village. I've also ensured that you'll be able to utilize our base camp without issue. I have every confidence in your ability as an adept Survey Corps member to bring this bizarre situation under control properly. Sincerely, Silene. Ah, she's got a heart of gold. Lady Skuntank hair. Good tidings from the letter? It's a secret. <clears throat> now then, so we're 
to visit three lakes. Doesn't sound like an easy task, that's for sure. Sure it'd be wonderful to have a kind soul who might help us out. Hmm, quite the opportunist, aren't you, Volo? Such a consummate guile, guild merchant. Hey, look at you two. I love how their other, the, the members of their clan are like, I'm afraid we cannot help you. Meanwhile, the leaders are both like, let's help, let's do it, what's the problem? Anyway, the wardens are keeping a close eye on their nobles too. Seems all quiet for the moment. And so here we are! But still, we've got, we'll never get away with openly aiding you. Oh, never mind. If we're to undermine the commander's direct orders, relations would grow strained. Long story short, we want to help, but without drawing attention. So it'll just be one of us. Me or her, it's up to you. Though the answer should be obvious. I'll say! What's up? Of course you'll choose me! Yeah, I choose you. For sure we want Irida. Definitely. Just what I expect of you, Jay. You made the right choice. You won't regret it. Yeah. Take that, Adamin. So then the leftover leader will... Leftover? Pfft, think again. Jay, trust me, enough to leave the tough job up to me alone. I'll be keeping an eye on the commander so I can let you all know if anything happens. All right, whatever you say, Adamin. Sounds like you are both helping me. Okay, but yes, we should get moving. I'd rather we walk this road together. Whichever lake we choose. All right, is there one here in this zone? All right, Irida, you and Jay. Well, you should do it neat. Yeah. She says that, but it's not like we were gonna like battle together. I don't think, right? I think it's still like you just go and do your stuff. Uh, oh boy, almost fell off the treadmill, y'all. Let's see, let's see. Have our Pokemon. We're all good there. Yep, yep, yep. I don't think we gained any levels for Storm, unfortunately. Uh, can we craft anything? Make some potions? We can make like one potion. All right, great. Make some great balls, probably. Yeah, let's make like 30. Yeah, that's great. Super dupes. Um, all right, well, I guess let's go. Come on, Irida. We got stuff to do. I don't know if you guys play the Pokemon trading card game. Irida is an amazingly good card. Let's see. Um, which one are we going to go to? Head to Lake Verity, which we found in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Here we go. Heights Camp! Let's do it. That way we can fly to wherever we want. Ba-boom! Run, 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 run. Don't need to switch up my Pokemon. Don't worry. Don't you worry. Don't remember which one this one has first. Oh boy, walking off the back of the treadmill, y'all. Here we go. <sighs> this is so annoying because he just—it's just all a matter of <laughs> flying to the different places. Like once you have the once you have Braviary, getting around the map is so fast. Do 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 do. Here we go. Windswept run. You can see so many of the little spear tube orbs you have to collect. If only we were doing that, but we're not. Lake Verity, ba-boom, here we go. All right, now inside, I, want, I don't know if this is the Gudra or like, uh, I'm not sure what's inside here. I'm sure we'll be able to see though, right? How'd they beat me here? That's unbelievable. They say this lake actually used to be a volcano, <laughs> then it erupted, leaving a huge crater that filled with water. And so Lake Verity was born. It's protected by a Pokemon called Mesprit. It was when Mesprit took flight that people first learned the joys of sorrow and living. Well, that's how the old tale goes anyway. Arse phone. Your arse phone is beeping. Beep, 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 beep. Whoa, look at that. It's a magic phone. Look at Irida's face. Wow, that was impressive. You guys are sure lucky I'm here and have this phone imbued by God. <laughs> Just appeared from nowhere. Is the arc phone the professor was giving out about? What surprises indeed? All right. Let's see. Um, I think we'll have like a second to figure out exactly which Pokemon it is before we actually engage it in battle. But I've got Storm right here just in case it's our Gudra friend. The air feels somehow tense in here. Oh, it's Gudra, all right. Okay, all right, all right. Yeah, a menacing Pokemon stands before you. Yeah, you and your Pokemon quelled his suing nobles. You can handle any battle, Jay. Yeah, and are you gonna help? 
Are you gonna help? I somehow doubt it. Yeah, I didn't think so. Um, okay, so we're gonna lead with Storm. Because we have our fighting type moves. Now, hopefully Storm can survive. Um, let's see, check summary. Now, whoops. The good thing is, with Bulldoze, we can actually lower its speed. Which, it's not as powerful, but... Uh, ooh, accuracy 95. Um, but maybe we'll get to go again, or maybe we can set up the next Pokemon to go. Hopefully Storm doesn't die, though. That would be so bad. But, uh, this is also... Man, that thing looks... That thing looks mean! Oh, boy. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I guess we don't have any choice, though. We're gonna have to go into battle. Um, backup attackers. Let's see. It is... Oh, man. It's tough. It's tough. Who do we go in with? I mean, there's always Rotera. Rotera's like our most defensive one. If we've lowered the speed... Uh, Louisa can also bulk up. Let's see. It's Steel-type Dragon... Mercury is gonna, they're gonna be resistant pretty heavily to Mercury's attacks. Rotera's probably pretty good, just neutral damage. And yeah, that might be. Mercury, Rotera's probably the option, Louis. Yeah, if we, uh, if Storm goes down, which hopefully won't happen. Oh boy, oh boy. Well, no time like the present, eh? Let's go. Oh, wow, that was anticlimactic. I guess we have to go do this. It looks so angry. Oh, man. Oh, man. Go! I don't think you can catch it, can you? That'd be handy. Boom! I think you have to, like, fully defeat it, though. Gudra, 58! Oh, my gosh. It is going to wreck us in one shot. Shelter? What is that? Raises the fence? Yeah, I thought so. Oh, it became obscured. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. We are really... Okay, we're gonna go for the, the Agile Bulldoze, so that maybe we get to go again. Maybe we'll hit it, maybe not. Oh, we got it! Yes! Excellent! And lower the speed. Dan got the crit! Okay. I didn't see... I didn't see it lower the target's action speed, though. Um... I think we're just gonna be a regular bulldoze here. Jeez. Let's see, if we can hit it again. Come on, come on. You got it, Storm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Lower the speed. Strong style. I don't like the sound of that, not one bit. Oh, we are so dead. Ah, every time. They're so strong. It's like, I mean, I know it was way, way levels higher than us, but still. Gosh, well, Storm put in some solid effort, I have to say. Oh my gosh, so sorry, Storm. <sighs> Man, all right. All right, we're gonna swap into Rotera here. Oh gosh, now we're really, now we're in some dangerous territory. Let's see, if we... Okay, if we go Snarl, we can lower its attacks, and then we can go... So, we just want to lower its attacks, I think, mainly. And then we get to go again. So let's go here. Oh no, it became obscured! <gasps> Why does it get to go? Why did it get to go? What? Why? I don't understand. I am confused. Okay, we're gonna try that again. Why didn't we go? That Like, we were next. Oh boy. Okay, so now we get to go. Oh, it did not do a lot. It did not do a lot. This attack never misses. Oh gosh, okay, okay. Okay, we lowered its attack power. We saw how much it did, it wasn't half. So we should be able to take another hit. Can we go here? Nope, okay. We're gonna go, oh gosh, this is so nerve wracking. Let's go Dark Pulse. Boom! Oh, it did not do that much damage at all. It's going agile style now. Oh gosh. Oh no, if it gets to go twice. Gudra's no longer obscured. Its defensive stats will return to normal. You shelter. Oh no, it gets to go again. Now it's gonna return their defensive stats. And it became obscured. Its offensive stats will return to normal. Why? On what grounds? I don't, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. We are in a tough spot now because we do not have that much. Do 
this, I guess. We're gonna have to heal. We're gonna have to heal. Oh, that did not heal enough. Oh no. Retero, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. Okay, doing that does not help. Oh gosh, we are so dead. We are so dead! Can we raise our own defensive stats? Will that help? We're so dead. Should we switch? But if we switch, will that even matter? Mm, okay, hold on. Can we switch? Who would be, who would be better? Luisa has even more HP, as does Mercury. Oh gosh, we could go to Luisa, I suppose. But what are we gonna hit it with? It's resistant. I mean, Ice Punch, I guess, is okay. But it's got steel. Well, it's neutral damage, right? It resists it with steel, but is weak dragon wise. Ice punch is just not very good. You know, it's not very strong. We could bulk up, but we're still gonna have to tank a hit on the incoming attack, which is the real problem here. None of our moves are like very effective at all, as you can see. I mean, crunch, fire thing. The problem is just that, I feel like if we calm mind, we're probably like, Oh gosh, I really don't want Rotera to die. But I don't know. That Calm Mind might be the thing to do. The costs are coming your next turn more likely to come later. If we do like a double Calm Mind, maybe, that, maybe that's enough to withstand an attack and then launch an attack though. Oh god, we already made the decision. Here we go. Strong style calm mind. Let's go. Oh boy. Hopefully they don't get to go twice now. It went agile, so that should be weaker. Hopefully it's not obscured now. We should resist this pretty solidly. Oh gosh, okay. Does it get to go again? <gasps> Defensive stats to return to normal. Okay. I think... This might be our best shot. We're double boosted, but we are so weak, but there's no... Okay, we have double boost attack. We have our strongest attack. Oh my gosh, we're so screwed. Ah, go Rotera! Dark Pulse for the win! Yes! Oh, we did it! <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Rotera! That was so nerve-wracking. I thought we were dead. I did not think we were gonna make it. I thought we were gonna have to lose Rotera, but we didn't. <sighs> Let's see about the Pokemon of the lake. Oh my gosh, you feel a mysterious presence. Wow, wow, wow. That was intense. <gasps> Mesprit. Oh my gosh. Cannot believe that one. That was, that was nerve. I guess I have to go talk to it. This better not be another fight though. Oh my gosh, don't fight me. Just give me like a free item or something, right? Your emotions, share them with me. They're yours! I can only imagine how it must feel to speak directly with a Pokemon like that. When you fell to this land, what stirred in your heart? Oh, surprise for sure. How did it feel to bond with Pokemon and work together? Oh, exciting. I don't know if there's like correct answers or not. What did you feel when you mingled with the Sui's clans? It's a wide world. Lots of room for different beliefs, you know. What did you feel when cast out of the galaxy team? I accepted it. I guess that was the right answer. <laughs> Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. Okay. It like gave like an excited reaction to two of them and or to three of them, but that middle one, that uh, third one, not so much. Oh, you obtained Nesprit's plume. Wow. Proof that you have completed the trial set by Nesprit, the being of emotion. Yay. I love the, the face, it's just boom. Boom. Wow. 
I know that Pokemon spoke with you, yet the words did not reach my ears. Words did not reach my ears. It's mysterious, but I suppose when dealing with someone who fell from the sky, it's only natural to encounter mystery. Next, on to Lake Valor and Lake Acuity. All right, let's go! Ugh, we're gonna have to sadly say goodbye to Storm now. Jeez, didn't want to, didn't want to. Let's see. Looks like that worked out well, Jay. I'll say. I must say, you know an awful lot about Hisui, Volo. I suppose a merchant like you sees all sorts of things in their travels. <laughs> That's right. You could say it's because I'm a merchant, but most of them just naturally filled with curiosity. I know. I want to know exactly what happened in the past that led us to this particular present. Or more accurately, I suppose I want to know where I came from and where I'm headed. I want to know my path, so to speak. Same goes for me. Our clan started at the very spot where our forebears once beheld Almighty Sinnoh, but I I have still never seen Almighty Sinnoh for myself. Weighty matters to ponder, for sure. But we have an important task before us. Uh, yeah. Let's go back. Ba -ba -ba. Perfect! I'd like to see what she thinks of our progress! Bum -ba -ba. Bum -ba -ba. Bum -ba -ba Oh my gosh, the cutscenes are so long. I beg your pardon, Gogeta, ma'am, but what do these Pokemon that represent the mind have to do with this red chain? And why exactly should it bind the world? I don't know. Your doubts suggest a keen intellect. I see you're not your clan's leader for nothing. Without the mind, were the rift to widen and the very world to end? One might even say the world, time, space, all creations exist only because our minds are there to perceive it. Wow, that's deep. So does the mind create the world? But isn't another way around? Or is it? Oh, simulation confirmed. Such are myths, my child, teaching us about the world in their own incomprehensible ways. They urge us to think more for ourselves on the nature of Almighty Sinno and on the nature of the world in which we dwell. You're absolutely right. Myths and legends are such fascinating things to study. In any case, all right, all right. Here we go. Yep. Come on. All right. Well, I'm looking at the clock right now, you guys, and it seems like we are at a, uh, a good distance stopping-wise. Took a little while to get going on the first of the Lake Spirits, but I think next episode we're going to try and take both of them on. And uh, from there, we should be able to finally go fight, uh, I guess, I think we're, because we chose Irida instead of Adamin, I think we'll fight Palkia first. Then we'll have to go do some other little side quest, and then I'm pretty sure we'll be able to use Palkia to fight, to, to fight, to fight Dialga, eh? All right. <laughs> uh, so I think this is where we're going to call it a day. Oh, of course. Of course, though. We sadly need to say goodbye to Storm first. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot. Storm, who fought so bravely. Nope, not you. Talk to Abra here. All right, oh my gosh, Storm. Man, I thought I thought there was a chance you might get the knockout there. That was, I mean, you've been sitting in the box. We've been so excited to have you as part of the team. You gained levels for a little while there and you put in a, you put in a solid fight. I mean, there's no doubt about that. Those bulldozers were key. I'm not sure, I don't know why it wasn't lowering the speed. It, it wasn't saying it, maybe it was happening or maybe it's like a percent chance to happen, but either way, Storm, your efforts, Duly noted, we shall miss you. Ugh, man, that sucks. That hurts. Oh, so uh, let me know in the comments below, who do you think we should add on for the next two lake fights? We also have Lasagna, who's very strong. I think actually we're gonna be fighting the evolved form of Lasagna in one of the caves as well. Uh, so there's that to consider. Noting it's dark poison. Uh, so, boy. We need some ground type moves, man. We have Hippopotas, huh? Hippopotas, what do you guys think? Put, a, put them on? I mean, as far as ground types go, we also have Stone, we have Bulldoze on there. Stone who does need a few more levels though, it has to be said. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Who should we put on for the final lake fights? Oh man, we're getting close to the end. It's been quite a journey. I'm honestly very surprised that we've had uh, Mercury, Rotera, and Louisa stick around the entire game so far. It's been absolutely wild. Man, it is like, the, like after my personal playthrough, like I had stuff like getting knocked out all the time. Of course, I mean, 
I also play a lot more vicariously where I don't have to be so cautious about every single move, but <laughs> um, yeah, I am so impressed by Mercury, Rotera, and Luisa. All such amazing Pokemon. <sighs> and uh, yeah, I mean, the three of them are just so tight now, you know? They've been through so much together. Rotera, the champion of the day, We'll give you, we'll give you the, uh, the Pokeball of the day, you know, the game ball as it were, right? <laughs> That's a thing. Huh. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you haven't already, and subscribe so you don't miss the big finale coming up in the next couple of weeks. But uh, until next time, bye! And before we go, I want to give a huge shout out to all of our amazing supporters over on Patreon. I used to be able to read out every single person's name, but you guys have been so awesome and so many people have joined that I, I don't think I have the time to read out every single name anymore. But big, big thank you to every single person who's supporting us over there. If you'd like to see your name on this wall, or if you'd like to take part in our other show on this channel, Box Breakers, where we open Pokemon cards and then send them to you guys, you can head over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. Thanks again, everyone. Dead spork.